Hello and welcome to my first look map tour of the Old Stream Farm by Black Sheep Modern. Let's do a little bit about the Old Stream Farm. It says, welcome to the Old Stream Farm. The famous farm of the 70s is back for even more fun. Located in a fictional European style countryside, the roads will take you to a small town of Dorfbach and Grunwald. Now this is available on all platforms, PC, Mac, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. Now some of you will be sore familiar with the old stream farm. I first came across Black Sheep Modern's map back on FS17 I believe and we had a reiteration in FS19 and here we are in FS22. But things have changed over the years, and anyone who's followed the map will know that even in previous iterations, many things changed. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the map itself. So here it is, the Old Stream Farm. Your main farm is located here, with uh, all your animals. I believe they're all built in. Um, there's nothing that I've read that says that they are um, deletable. They may well be. We'll have a little look at that as we uh, go around. Uh, you have a small village here, and you have the larger village here, with uh, many of our cell points and productions built into the map. And here we've got some more, and down here we've got some more. So let's see, map-wise, what it is we get to start with. So by the looks of it, we get the periphery, which is always handy. And that has a value of zero. So even if you come in on uh, start from scratch, farm manager, hopefully that's still zero. You can buy that. It makes it easier to, to put things around. Uh, we have field one, or which is the farm, but comes with field two. So around the farm, if you're looking for expansion, the plots are like 118,000. 90 grand for that one. Five has got a little bit of woodland with it. That's 76,000. Now, the most of these fields are small. This is a small machinery, old style farming map. I think 37 look like it might be the largest at 207,000. So, it depends on what the yield payouts are. Oh, we've got 205 there for 51. I'm not sure how long it will take you to reach that. By the looks of it over here, we've got a plot of land for um, building your own things on. That's often what that looks like. I'm going to try not to mention the old versions, but it's, it's hard to do when you know that you've played something for quite a while. And in the older version, there used to be a large area here that got added in later on for you to put stuff on in 19. And this up here was added in later on as uh, a few big fields and a placeables area up here. So uh, just in that, there's some changes. But in the layout of the map, well, it looks it looks like there's been a lot of changes to accommodate all the new features that are in uh, Farmer Simulator 22. So we want to see if we can find where the BGA is. Just so we can see if that is um, raw or not. I've already done these ones. Ah, oh, that, that'll be the bio. So that plot of land, if we need to buy it, is uh, 164,592 pounds, euros or dollars, depending on how you play the game. So let's quickly take a look at the start machinery we get when starting on New Farmer. In our garage, we have, under small tractors, the Fent Favorite 511C. Medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 7810. Our harvester is the uh, Deutschwar top liner with uh, subsequent headers, no doubt. We have got the Schaefer front loader. We've been given a lizard pickup, the uh, 2017s. We've got, although it's an old 70s farm, we've got the new truck. We've got the class Karat 140TD for our trailer. Nice trailer, that one. Like I say, we've got the, uh, the Deutsch header. Got the tiny Pottinger Servo 25 plow. 
the Rab EG3-9 cultivator. The Nordstein HK25 NS3030 seeder. Front loader tools have just given us a bucket. We've got a header trailer. And we've got two weights, one for the John Deere and uh, one for the uh, Fent. So let's bring up our little mini map. Let me take a look at the farm and see what we have and where it is. Start over this away. I believe this is the sheep pen. In the past, this is where the sheep pen was, or here is where the sheep pen used to be. I said I wouldn't do that, but I can't help it. <laughs> You've got, got to compare it when you've uh, seen it before. So this is the uh, unload trigger for feed here. Uh, our pallets will uh, spawn there. We've got a working gate, animal trigger, and uh, it holds 100 sheep. It's very nice. So we get to shut again. It's a nice big pasture. Oh, look, it dips into the water as well. That's cool. I like that. I'll tell you what, this map looks so good. It looks really nice. So further around, we have uh, some shed space. Got a lot, a little bit of clutter. A lot, a little bit. English, mate. Uh, sort of clutter and farm waste and stuff like that, which is... Uh, which is fine. Now this looks like a slurry pump or something like that. So I guess this is pigs, maybe? Got an unload there. Probably for bedding. Yeah, it says pigs slow down bottom right. You shouldn't have to guess. Like it tells me if I look. Um, if we can get the trigger to go, though. Oh, that's a little bit of a... There we go. It's a little bit off. 60 pigs. Not bad. Feed here. And I uh, imagine this is a modified version of a built-in, plumbed-in uh, pig pen. Uh, we've got... we got lights. Oh, no. It's, a, uh, it's an electric meter. That was lights. So yeah, nice pig pen, 60 pigs, not too many, uh, just enough to get you your manure and your slurry, should you wish. And over here we have more shed space. Nice good size in there, if you want to uh, maybe store some crops on the ground, you chuck your beets in there or your potatoes, something like that. Machine storage. Lovely job. Over here, one would imagine cows. Let's have a little look. So, feed. And go here. There are pastures out there, so let's see where we, uh, where we unload them. Now, this is a complete first look for me. I haven't been round and, as you can tell, done any sort of pre-tour tour. Uh, so this will be milk. Where are we getting our milk from? Now you used to be able to open all these doors and you still can. Absolutely brilliant. The detail to it. Now I just want to check that that's just... It says on auto. Is that something we can... Uh, doesn't, doesn't appear to be. But yeah, you come in there, that's your milking parlour. on this side this is the manure heap which is handy oh excellent does that mean that we get to take it all out manually again I do miss that about some of these maps I do like it when the manure is inside and you have to clear it out and put it somewhere else 
unless this is the manure heap here. Anyway, we've got probably bedding unloading there. So I should imagine manure on the inside, dump it out here. That'd be cool if that's how it works. And uh, our pasture is here. 150 cows. Very nice. I do like a custom pen. It's massive as well. Which is handy because there's no grazing, so you need this grass to cut so you can feed them. I hope eventually someone gets us some grazing in this game. So let's go take in what else we have on the map. But it's undercover shelter here. Leads out onto the road. Do have a workshop. This is what we got here. Maybe a water. A fill unload. Oh no, chickens. Chickens, look at that. So chicken coop, eggs here, feed there. There we go, figured it out. And then over here we have our repair station, our workshop. Lovely job. Room for a bit of vehicle storage as well here. And if I am right, this, put it one up, there's our, our truck. Check. So we've got vehicle shelter here as well. More storage here. Now, I don't think we've come across a grain silo yet, have we? Ah, that's because it's here. <laughs> I walked past it. So, unload and refill here. Silo is empty. It's got a couple of bins all connected. Very nice. Now I think we've got a silage clamp. There always was a silage clamp before. Which changed many times over the uh, reiterations of this map. We've got a silage clamp here. Nice good size. Oh wow, we've got two more over here as well. Something that always used to be good about these were that you could drive around. You could fill them from the back. You used to be able to back yourself up and unload into them so it would sort of fill evenly out. Uh, whether that's still doable or not, I'm not sure. I'm sure you have a little bit of terrain edit and if not you could bring that ground up, smoothing that out and just unload back onto it. Then you can drive straight over it to uh, compact it. I like these, I like that. That's our one field over there that you start with. So and then you have got a bit of space here. Uh, should you wish to build and expand and maybe put a little bit of your own production up here or if you need, you feel you need something else for the farm. So this is a very nice, very nice map. I've uh, enjoyed it many times before and uh, I'm looking forward to enjoying it again. So let's head out and take in some of this beautiful map. We'll, uh... Oh, you can go in the house. Good job I saw that. So that'll be our sleep trigger. Oh no, that's our get dressed and sort yourself out trigger. Sleep trigger here. Sleep trigger here. Awesome. Nice house. Look at that, actually got a house. Brilliant. And, oh, come on, let me get through that door. Yes, we can get through more doors. If uh, you like to do a bit of a role play and really do it realistically, this is awesome. Uh, I'll try and uh, go around out cab. Makes for uh, better viewing, no doubt. So let's just spin this around. I think to start with, we'll, uh, if I just make my map a little bit bigger, 
we'll head up north to uh, 17, 18, 16, and what's up there? I think there's a couple of um, train stations along the way around this map. As you can see, the train runs from the north around sort of the uh, eastern side of the map, across the south, and then uh, relieves the map sort of off to the west. But as with, as is often with a black sheep, uh, modern, there's some decent forestry on here for a, for a small map that this is. Some decent forestry. It's absolutely great. I'm at the uh, edge of the map, so I can't pan out, unfortunately. So here again, by the looks of it, we've got a little area you could probably buy up and uh, work and build on and do as you wish. So do you, should you uh, want to customise a farm, have a farm up the top here, or more production, entirely up to you. We've got a road down there as well. So we'll try and use this correctly and we'll come in and have a little look see what we have. I think this is uh, like a grain mill selling station top here. Yeah, we have our, our grain elevator to sell our grains. Now again, when I do these tours, I don't go through everything that can be sold at every place because it's not as easy to go through. We've got some uh, storage equipment here as well, but if you've uh, if you played the game, you know what each cell station, buy station sort of does. So there's a few little fields up here with this. Now you can head out that way. I think we'll uh, yeah we'll do that. We'll head down into the town. We'll take in that town work our way around sort of clockwise if we can. Uh, I don't know if there's collectibles on the map. I'll let you guys figure that out and find them if they are. Collectibles there haven't been anything that really sort of concerns me. So I don't, uh, I don't worry about that too much. So we've come across it's like a... Uh, cheese place a dairy shop or something yep dairy so we have our purchase and management point our spawn point and our unload for sale a nice model looks good everything about this map is going to look good <laughs> just so you guys know it is absolutely brilliant. You know, it's once again, it's one of them things, it's not going to be for everyone's liking, not going to meet everyone's uh, taste. I think we've got a cell point. Is there a cell point up here, or are we just driving around? Let's go have a look. Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly for smaller equipment, stuff like that, but if you want big open fields and massive great tractors, You'll struggle. <laughs> you can give it a go here, but you'll struggle. Right, let's see if we can find... Oh, we're going right round. Just taking a detour by the looks of, that's all I'm doing. Around we go. Uh, we have one in front of us. Uh, we should have one to our left. Probably going to block the traffic, get out and have a little walk around. It might be easier. So here we have needle and stitch. So this will be our tailors. So you can uh, change your clothes here at the front door. That's what that is. We've got uh, an unload here and a management here and spawn point around the back. And then next to it we have uh, the pizza parlour, which has its own unload here. 
if we've got a management or whether that is just a cell point. I think that is just a cell point. End of the line production type thing. Very nice. Taylor's Pizzeria. So further along. Sweet and sour raisin. Come in. We have the uh, management, the spawn, and the unload. Drop your your grapes and stuff off here. And then opposite the uh, if we come out rather than jump the wall. So you've got your tailor over there, and down here you've got your spinnery. Those doors are not for me to open or close. So again, management here, unload here, and uh, pallet spawn there. Got a little bit of space to come in and turn around as well, which is always good. Sometimes can be the only downside of a small small enclosed map is that there's not the room to turn your vehicles around. So we'll try and find our way round there. I think I think we can get there. Just held up a bit of traffic, that's alright. If we go left. I wanna try and get down to uh wherever that was with the bins. We have um, probably like a, a train elevator silo here. This has got load and unload. I'm sure the train track runs around it. Just jump out. What do we have here? What's this? All of them triggers aren't quite triggerable. The info up. There we go. Pulled it up. Uh, return rented train. Train arriving. Yep, so that is just for that. I don't do a lot of trains, so sorry if I uh, was getting that all wrong with regarding trains. But yeah, that's the uh, train silo sail point unload. It's got a little uh, load and bay there as well for weighing. Yeah, you can store here so you can uh, unload your own crops as well. So if you want to move them around, say that you've been busy uh, up by or out by sort of 48, 49, 50, and you want to bring your crops around easy without having to get through town, you can load it into the train, bring it around. If you've mustered a, a large quantity of uh, crops, move to town nice and easy without trying to negotiate with a big trailer. So, but more to do with the uh, the RP there, if you wish, if that's your route. There is our train. I think I called the train in without knowing. There it is. We want to go back round to our left. Through town. We can see a few more uh, cell points and what have you here. Again, for convenience sake, I'll jump out and have a little walk around. So, we have... What do we have? We've got an unload here for something. Farmer's market. So, this is where we'll bring all our veg and our eggs and things like that. They come here to the farmer's market. Then opposite, we have... The horse centre. Equestrian stables and riding. And we can't open that, but we can jump over and have a little look. Maybe if we'd purchased it, we'd be able to uh, open that door. Should we try that? Let's see if we can buy it and uh, see what comes up. So 
So the stables cost uh, 62 grand. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Now the triggers are up. So let's see if we can open the door now that we own it. And we can! Marvellous stuff. So, let's have a good, good rummage around the stables. Storage areas, we'll open all the doors. Grass cut. I wonder if they wander all the way around all this on the outside. That would be cool. Plenty of storage. Some more. So this is where we'd um, unload feed and such. I guess we can get horse manure here. And uh Purchase. You can hold 16 horses here. That's quite a few. That's nice. So yeah, if this is their meadow, their grazing area. They've got a lot. It's a fair old bit of grass here as well, which is nice. And they'll come all the way around. So if you've got horses and they're wandering around here, how cool is that going to look? Uh, driving through. And just having horses just freely roaming around. They're not like in a pen at the back of a farm somewhere. They're here. In town grazing. I think that's so cool. So from there we are going to find our car. <laughs> Do some fence and wall hopping. Come back around. So it's a nice big stable. We shall continue on. Weaving our way through. <laughs> then we've got off to our right and off to our left. So I'll jump again at the end of the road and we'll uh, take a look at both. Now there are, as I just saw then, signposts that are going to point you to where everything is dairy, grain elevator, railroad silo, biogas. So we have the sugar mill. Production management there. Spawn point there. Unload here. Not quite as much room, so uh, yeah, to manage how you get through there. And then across the ways we have biogas. So we have unload. Looks like we can just tip as well there, not, not have to go up and into the, into the spot. Again, I think this might have to be one purchase to see how everything works. So I shall sell the horses. We shall try and... Oh, we haven't got enough money. Give me a second. Now we have, so we shall <laughs> buy the land. I want to buy the horses back as well. we'll buy everything up as we go around. And say the uh, the biogas is 164, so about 165 grand. And now we've got our triggers. So we have the management screen here. Oh, got stuck on the post. Unload here. Uh, liquid unload here. Then our digestate unload. Just here. Let's see. If we've got a little bit of machinery sheds here. So if you want to keep your machinery for doing a biogas work, you can have that here. A couple of loaders, a couple of trailers. You name it. You can keep it. I think long gone are the days of requiring all the belts and such. Now, as part of this as well, we also have two very large uh, clamps. They do look like they're going to hold some literage, that's for certain. Now, with these ones, 
would be able to just drive in and unload. That's for certain. You have to do that the old fashioned way. But again, very nice. Nicely done. For a compact site, it's just put in nicely. I like that it's got the, uh, the lower level to it as well. Very cool. Apologise to the traffic and uh, moves on to our next spot. It will head. I'm trying to think. What? Yeah. Look at the map. We'll go straight on. I guess the sawmill, um, sort of down south. We'll probably have to take that in right at the end. So here we have the bioheating, I believe. Let's see what we get. Got a stone crusher down there, you've got your lime. Look at how like there's stones everywhere as well. That is cool. Your recycle centre. I like that these are coming into the game. Um Hampstead Farm has one. It's it's cool. It's cool. It's very, uh, it's very woke, very now, isn't it? Let's have a recycle centre. What have we got here? Sell wood. Okay. And here we can put our chips in. I'm not quite sure where the wood gets put to sell. Around here, I'd, I'd drive over here with it. I think. See if I can have another little. Don't think there's anywhere else that really sort of says wood. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, I just... It's <laughs> silly, isn't it? I really like the idea that it just makes it more of um, like a living, breathing real place when you have that sort of stuff. For someone like me that likes to get a little bit lost in the realism of it all, I think it's cool. So we're going to take this nice drive down to uh, like f fields 49, 48. Check out what we've got down there. Let's see a bit more of the map at speed. <laughs> I might try and incorporate a bit of a flyover at the start. I think I might try and do that with my maps from now on. So I'll just try and uh, pull over and then we'll have a look at everything. And over here we have the uh, grain mill. To make flour, so uh, there's your management point, spawn point, unload. And I think around the other side we may have. Oh, that's our animal dealer. Have to have a little study of the map every now and then just to see what's going on. So we have like a cell point here. Or whatever it is the uh, the livestock dealer is purchasing. Probably the likes of straw and hay. Maybe some feed. It's very cool. So, just nosy. And here we have our animal purchase point. Obviously you can buy them at your pens. You can buy them here. If you purchase them from here and then deliver them to your own uh, stables, it's cheaper. Let's just uh, head round and see, because we've got a few more that are within walking distance, so we'll take them in. This will be another train. So we can call the train here. I'm not sure how you'd load the train from this one, though, but I guess you can just call it and... Uh, excuse me, call it and drive it, maybe? Just want to have a little look. I get right nosy sometimes. Yeah, it's just the back of the animal um, dealer. 
But yeah, you can call a train here if you wish. So over here we then have our garage. Fuel refill. And the lights. Got another... another bl that blue blip there. Blue blip here. Anyway, yeah, petrol station. So that's the edge of the map, and it's saying you can't get through there. But I do have... Oh, that'll be the send-off delivery. That'll be the point that's showing up. So we do have the sawmill to take in. And we also have some more um, points of interest back in town around sort of field 28, 27. So, we'll try and head out to uh, the sawmill area, which is like 55. So we'll head out, we'll turn right. Hopefully we can then weave through some of that woodland to see some of that. Try and see if we can get a little pan out here. Yeah, some of these fields, I say, considering it is, you know, predominantly a small map, uh, there are some larger areas here, and these, I think, are where the extensions and growths came throughout the different um, iterations of the map. As the map got more popular, as the map has grown, the land areas have grown. I think it used to be so tiny that it was literally just the uh, the two river, and the town coming in, sort of what is now. Where sort of 25, 26, 35, 36. That used to be the map edge. So let's uh, go this way. And I've always thought that the way that um, Black Sheep present this map, it always looked like there's an opportunity for growth with it. Like you can see in the map box, the, uh, the land that we can't access, the land that's not there is actually mapped out as land and when you get close to the map edge you can see that as well you can see those fields and the trees and the meadows they are there so if we take a right and we'll get into our store mill jump out so unload for wood chips To unload for wood chips. This one is a purchasable one over here. Let's have a little look. Ah, okay. So we can buy the sawmill. And there's an unload. And then we've also got this unload here. Sell wood. I guess we've got these uh, spawn points here for production. Then over here we have... What do we have over here? Carpentry workshop. So you can get it processed there. And then um, create and sell with it here. Unload. Try and get this trigger to... Uh, sell wood. So I guess it's around here. Just driving it in. Again, we can call a train by the looks of it. So if you uh, loaded up the train, put logs or whatever on it, bring it round, unload it here, and uh, get it all processed. Another way of doing it. A little bit of storage. I like it. I like this uh, lumber mill. Looks like you should be able to get up there and do a little parkour. Like I said, I don't know if there are collectibles. There may well be, and <laughs> if there are, they're probably up there. I'm not going to go looking for them. If you want collectibles, you can find them. Okay, so we just need to head back into... Sort of back into town. Uh, I might skip that bit of journey out. We shall see. See how this goes. The 
So if you look down on the map, you can see we're coming in up on map on map on field 27. And we've got ourselves a few more points of interest around here. So I should jump out. And uh, we'll try and take them in. I'm not sure if this is inside or outside or where we are. What's going on here? It's, I can't find this trigger. Oh. Nope. Maybe it's something we need to purchase again to have it come up. So what it is, is that uh, 27, if you purchase it, is a sheep pasture. So now if we go and have a little look. So you've got a little spot here, by the way, so you could keep some equipment for it. We have a sheep pasture. So if this is grass, which... Yep, grass is growing. But for this one, you would need to come and bring water, bring your animals in, got to be feeding, and uh, this can hold 150 sheep. So that's quite a bit bigger. This is twice the size as the um, sheep pasture back on the main farm, which is quite good. And then if we take a little walk around this back road, then in on our right, over here. There it is. We have the bakery. Production management around the front. We have our spawn point here and a unload there. And just across the ways from that we have our store. I got to, oh well that's probably not meant to be a thing, but you can walk. You can walk through there. I mean, we can get in here anyway. You're supposed to be able to get in here. The detail on this is really nice. I'm sure someone will let Black Sheep know that you can uh, walk through walls. Whether that'll bother them or not, I don't know. But if we try and find the entrance. Our purchase point is here, if that's how you wish to do it. And then you have your workshop here with the workshop trigger just on the side. You also have your workshop at the farm. Now to give you the sort of scale of the distance from here to there, we parked around there, just over this way. As you can see off in the distance, that is where the farm is. This is, I think, a beautiful map. This is a fun map. You've got some brilliant fields. You've got some interesting fields. You've got some challenging fields. Uh, just with gradients and things like that. And that was why I wanted to walk around here. So there's your start farm. That's where you are. And as you just sort of come through here, because it's sort of 70s and it's just, you know... You can still feel that post-war feel about it, which is something that this map always had, that post-war European thing, where people were working that little bit of land in their, in their back gardens or whatever it was to make the most of everything to grow their crops and to do what they can. And this map has that, that very old, it says 70s, but it's 50s, 60s, 70s feel. But I love that this, this is something that I've always loved, this little area here. The small crop plots literally uh, grow multiple different uh, things and uh, yeah you can see it's like people are trying to make the most of what they can it's awkward land and they're just trying to grow on it yeah that's great I love it I love this map anyway this has been my map tour of the old stream farm uh, by Black Sheep Modern hopefully you've enjoyed it I've tried to show as much of it as I can um, it might feel a little bit bitty in places where I've had to maybe jump for time constraints and stuff like that. But this is a beautiful map. It has everything you need. It's, it's got the productions in. It's, it's just awesome. As I say, it's been with the FS franchise for quite a while, Black Sheep Modern. This is a, a very popular map they do. That's why it's been their first one out, I think. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it, have fun on it. 
do as you wish. Absolutely beautiful. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.